The Highlanders and the Chiefs kicked off their seasons with their round one meeting way back at the start of the season and look ready to get their close rivalry done and dusted after just nine rounds of the competition with their second meeting here at Forsyth Bar Stadium. In the first account, it was the Highlanders who ran out big victors, 26 to nil over the Chiefs, who will look to get revenge here and the Forsyth Bar Stadium against the home team, the Highlanders. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cool Flex Group, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the Highlanders career mode, where we are into round nine and the Chiefs are in town to visit the champions, the Highlanders, who are on good form at the moment. A close win last week against the Hurricanes, 10-7 on that night. Has seen them move to the top of the New Zealand Conference but second place and a lot of teams very close behind the Highlanders are the Chiefs just five points adrift and a good win here could see them get right up with the Highlanders the team has undergone just a couple of changes most notably is Savia on the left wing coming in for Bryce Doolan who is out injured Tommy Funa comes into the front row as well as Falatel in the middle at hooker. Ritalik also joins the second row alongside Etza Beef. The rest of the team is unchanged. Of course, injuries to Doolin and Robinson for this one, who miss out for yet another couple of weeks before those two will be fit again. The Chiefs season has picked up after that early loss and they sit second in the New Zealand Conference behind their opponents tonight. Just five points is the difference between them, so they'll be looking to bridge that gap tonight. The last encounter between these two sides was a round one win, 26 to nil. That went to the Highlanders, but before that, it is now four encounters that have all been over 20 points in favour to the Highlanders. They'll be looking to their big guns here. They've got the likes of Basson in the back line, Natai, Fruin, just to mention a couple, and the forwards, the likes of McIntosh, Tumunga Allen, names that New Zealanders will be familiar with alongside Mamia on the blind side for the Chiefs. Can they pull this one out against the top-running New Zealand franchise. All set to go here. Hayden Parker, of course, a former Highlander. Will be kicking this one off for the Chiefs. Round nine of Super Rugby. Set to go. It's the Chiefs in the white. Highlanders in the blue, and we are underway. Kickoff down to Tommy Afuna, who's let the ball loose in the tackle, and has picked up Highlanders' ball. Now they come away through Stain. Kane, nicely in tow. Sopoanga, Fikatawa's in the back line. Here's a chance for Osborne. Very early on, but a good tackle in the back from Uvar, who takes him down over halfway. Here's Aaron Smith, quickly recycling to Ritalik, opening it up to Sambia. Here's Stain again, Stain to the middle, looking to play left and right, the fullback. Oh, what a tackle again. He is on song tonight already. Heaps of work for the defense of Danu. Here's Aaron Smith going for Release. a little run. He's taken down from Mamia. Easy tackle. Here's Sopawanga. One play. Out to Osborne. Signs inside his man but loses the ball. And Fikatoa has to clean up. This is good stuff from both teams. The defense is proving to be enough at the moment. And Stain goes for Atalik. Here's Sopawanga. He's still got two men outside. It's Kane. It's Javier. It's Julian Javier. Trying to break his way through. But Kraska makes a great tackle and will turn the ball over for the Chiefs. They go back to Parker. And he's drilled backwards. No way through. Aaron Smith picks it up. Somehow that popped back on the blue side for the Highlanders. And they'll retain the ball. Kane, the way to stay, nice to Sopawanga, he's lifted alone, and it goes to the Chiefs, and a chance to run away, and Kamenati has taken in the tackle for the Chiefs. To Allen, former Hurricane, goes to McIntosh, really? still at the Chiefs, a stalwart of the club now. Just a couple of metres out from their own line, Mamia goes back all and Kamenati is hammered into his Rich. own end goal by Aaron Rich. Smith. A great defensive display already Ten. from the Highlanders. Some may say they should be leading this one already. They've got a dominant scrum. Moen, Moen, trying to go himself. Gets dragged down. Good tackle and turned over as well. Here's Parker. Sips it back around the corner. Advantage of the Chiefs as Tumanga Allen goes inside. Mamia back to Adongo. And he's taken 10 metres out from his own line. Sturges. Driven backwards from Ezebeth. Still advantage to the Chiefs. Parker. 
Oh, just about got the short pass away, Mamiya. But we'll go back to the penalty against Ben Tamiafuna. The big man. Offside, 20 minutes gone. It's still nil-nil. The Sheik's weathering the storm at the moment. Can they hang on? That's the big question. Clearance kick from the penalty by Hayden Parker. Goes a long way over the 22. Not a bad thumper from Parker. Nearly to the 10 meter line as well. Salah. He'll be the one to throw in. Full seven man line out this one. Salah to the middle. Gets away from it's a beef and it's picked up nicely from Carter. Sets it back in the mall and a big backwards looking pass and they spread wide here the Chiefs. A good chance for Kraska. He goes infield again. A good run here from Kamati. And he's taken down. Surely a penalty not releasing by Kamati. Still there, Dongo. Goes infield. Mamir looks for support. Going left and right. Franks has smoked again. Kraska gets away. And it's a touch. A good tackle. Ben Smith at the back with Julian Savia. That was good work from those two defensively. Line out throw for the Highlanders. And it goes for Tullock at the front. He's missed it. Armitage is the one who eventually pulls it in. Somehow fires it out. Sobuanga goes straight through the middle. He's going to look to the corner. The chase is here. Stain of Fikatoa. But it's Sobuanga who leads the chase. Stain picks it up. And that's a great kick chase from the Highlanders. But the supporters slow. And the supporters missing. Now they look to Salah. Good run, Basson, who finds half a gap and kicks deep to Ben Smith. Bens with turns, runs, finds a little half gap. Basson chasing, good tackle. Drew and Basson gets the money hit on Ben Smith. Here's Aaron Smith now. Here's Stain. Oh, good tackle on Francois Stain. Franks will go to Etzebeef. Gets a good ball away for Osborne. Here's a foot race to the corner. Osborne hands over. It'll be a try. Patrick Osborne. What a finish in the corner. That's how you do it. Patrick Osborne. What's an absolute exquisite finish into the corner post. The chase was coming hard. Fruin, who we haven't mentioned on attack at all for the Chiefs, was the one. Here he was. He was chasing Osborne. Here's Uvar, the fullback, coming across. And no chance for either Fruin or Uvar at all to get within a grasp of Patrick Osborne, who was in the form of his life. See him spot the fullback and pin his ears into the corner used every inch of the field gets the try and the Highlanders finally after 20 30 minutes of domination hit the lead with the first scoring play now here's Stain looking for another two in fact it is 34 minutes just ticking over now not a breeze not a breath Here's Stang, strikes his kick beautifully, and that's two more on the bank. It's 7-0, the Highlanders defending champions, leading the Chiefs here at Forsyth Bar Stadium. Round nine of Super Rugby, and these two teams, one and two, in the New Zealand Conference. Hayden Parker. Onto the booty goes, left side high, into the night sky, and it's beautifully picked up from Kane, who's given away to Sturgis, and there's a good run there from the number eight. It's a chance here for the Chiefs. It's Parker. Oh, goodness me, Jermonger Allen has been decked by Aaron Smith. How often would you ever see that? A one-handed takedown from the little scrum half. What a tackle. Two minutes to the break now, and this is going to finish it here for the Chiefs. There won't be a restart here, will there? There could possibly be. Well, that's clever in the end. They've just got away with it. Should have probably taken the three, though. You have to question what they were thinking. Could have gone into halftime. 7-3 down. Definitely in for a chance to come back. Here's the Dongo. He gets it at the front. This is the opportunity they want. And why they come. Sturges has picked up and driven back Release. from Patrick Osborne. Still ball for the Chiefs. Parker over the top to Besson and there's a try. That's what they wanted. And they get the reward the Chiefs are in. 7-5 kick to come. They could go on to the break on level terms. Well, he's been the best player from the little ball he's had. Has Besson. He's made good breaks, good kicks as well. But the tackle from Parker was perfect. Through and in tow as well. That's a deadly duo that you're not going to stop. 
Well, you have to say that was Osborne's wing out there. He was involved in the middle. Yep, and he was trying to retract his paces, get out there to the touchline. But that could prove costly. The Highlanders now, their lead has been slashed. And they just have the two-point advantage. This kick could cut it dead even at the break. Here's Hayden Parker stepping in on the right hand up. Bright, this is good. It's over. Oh, that is a good kick. Used every inch of the post he could manage. Hits it off the inside of the upright. Successful kick. It is 7-7. The Chiefs and the Highlanders all tied up here. Round 9 of Super Rugby at Forsyth Bar Stadium. First half is complete and we have a dead scoreline of 7-7. Possession stats. Look at this, 54-46. Fairly even there, but territory is the one that the Chiefs are really struggling with at the moment. 73-27 to the Highlanders who should be up by a lot more on the scoreboard. They have pinned the Chiefs down who have struggled to get out of their 22 and have seen it time after time. They just get lucky enough and the Highlanders finishing is not up to their squeaky best. Both sides to make three line breaks and have just the one try to speak of so far. Tackle count also pretty even. It is their handling errors that are letting the Highlanders down at the moment. Four to one, the count. The Chicks will be happy just to make the one error. Who will take advantage of the second half here of round nine of Super Rugby? This is a huge match where the Chiefs could go right almost to the top of the table. Well, last week we saw it. The Hurricanes were put by a last minute drop goal by the Highlanders. Can we see a repeat here? Is it going to go that close to the wire? Stain kicks off. Osborne flying. And he just loses the ball in the end to Mangarellan. Oh, 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 big run Release. from the big tight head prop. Firing it wide now. Big pass. Goes out to Kraska. Finding Froen, who's hammered. Massive shot of Robbie Froen. And here's Savia. Puts a fan on. Gets the offload away. And doesn't find the required target. Not oh, releasing. how close was that? Now a penalty for not releasing. That one's against Natai. But shouldn't matter in the end because they did have advantage for the forward pass. There it was. Looking for Moen. Crouch. And that is where Crouch. we reset play. So, plenty happening right See there. It. Could have been a try, number two for the Highlanders. Didn't fall their way. But how about Sabvia? Up against Kraska. Absolutely monstering the big man. Steady scrum here for the Chiefs. And they look out to Kaminati, who finds Fruin again is on big traffic. And he goes straight through. Release. Stain again is all over him. Trying to turn the ball over. It might come back. The Highlanders do get it. Aaron Smith. Away to Moen. Armitage is there in support. Is this a base? Oh, he's knocked on. Could have been a great finish there. And in the end, it will drag back from Parker. And we will have a scrum feed for the SMB. He's not gone. Do we see a replay there? Oh, he was through as well. Beat the run Crouch. of Kraska. Touch. Just about got in the gap between him and Fruin. Scrum feed for the Chiefs again. Inside their 22. They have to be desperately keen to get out of here, but the Highlanders might turn this over. They're going forward with the ball, and they will get it. Moen will go himself to Savia. No way through there. Armitage hits the ball, second playing. Staying away for Osborne. Oh, Osborne, he's through again. Up against the fullback of R, who makes a great desperate save. Aaron not Smith puts a tackle on. Oh, Besson, and he's done for not releasing. Wow, what a little passage of play that was. I thought Osborne was through. Far did a great job of stopping him. And then, of course, Aaron Smith wrapping up Bjorn Basson and getting the penalty. And now we have a chance to take the lead for Francois staying 56 into the second half. Van Danner's pinpoint. Three points on the board. Staying as accurate as ever. And that's why he's on the big bucks as well here at the Highlanders. 10-7. Same scoreline we've seen last week against the Hurricanes. Chiefs fighting hard though. They know that a try is enough for them. And they've really withstood a lot of attack here from this Highlanders outfit. Here's Osborne. 
who's looked dangerous. He offloads to Falatau, and Falatau's through. Gets the offload away, Sobwanga. Savia's involved. Oh, Bufa! Get out of the way, Savia! Absolutely bulldozes through a couple of defenders. Gets the pass. Oh, that's dreadful. And it's gone Please. straight to the Chiefs. Ben Smith's down in back play. So is Savia. Now he's got to get up because Kreska's making a breakaway. Here's Bradley. Oh, Armitage deals to him. Oh, smashing hits. Ball back here. Savia, scrum half. Runs. Can't get away. It's a beef. Moen. Flicking a wide, Falatau's there, Sopoanga, oh he's hit hard, and down he goes. Chiefs looking to turn over, they won't find it, Aaron Smith, he'll go for a little run. Oh the pass is horrible, and the Chiefs get the ball back, another chance, they come wide, and it's through in. Oh he's bumping them off for fun, but in foot and touch he goes. Could have been a huge chance as he absolutely bundled his way through three would-be tacklers. Robbie threw in such high tackle breaking ability. Ritalik at the front, Aaron Smith goes to Sopawanga. And he'll look to kick crossfield. Chase coming in from Osborne, running from deep. But this will beat them all into touch. Great kick, Sopawanga. The leader's in the bank. No risk required. Slow the game down, put it into touch, and make the Chiefs do all the work. Shorty the game plan with 12 to go. Salah will throw in. Goes to the back. It's nice he pulled in again from Bradley. And now they look to their back line. Wide. Kraska. Again to Fruin. It's Savia. Oh, goodness me. Release. Savia has butchered Fruin again. How many times have we seen this? Sturgis goes to Marmere. Release. He's on the 10 meter line and going nowhere. Recycled again. Bradley. Oh, this is absolute hospital Release. pass play here from the Chiefs. Absolutely stationary. No one is moving forward. His Sturgis going into Kaminati again. Release. And again, he's not even moving on to the ball. Just standing there waiting for it. This is dreadful from the Chiefs. His Parker. Oh, chopped down. Big hit. Felatel takes a credit. Tamir Funa. Quick offload to Stain. He looks back. It's Moen and Fikatoa. Good ball, but on the bounce comes back to all. Oh, Osborne and Aaron Smith knocks on. The ball squirts down and picked up from Man Natai, over. who we haven't even seen of in this match hardly. He's through and again. He's met heavily Three. from Moen. They've really used him a lot tonight, Fruin, as the two number nines, Parker and Smith, Release. have a bit of a dabble with each other. Of course, Aaron Smith comes out the top of that one. Sturges this time. Gets the offload away nicely to Salah. And the breakaway from Fruin. The cover defence comes across. Ben Smith makes a tackle. Oh, there goes full time as well. This might just be enough here for the Highlanders. Can they hang on? And Dongo go. Oh, there's a dreadful play. And that really sums up the night for the Chiefs. It's been a match full of those dreadful plays from the Waikano franchise and the Highlanders once again win thanks to the kicking of Francois Stein. They relied on him two weeks in a row. He got it done with the penalty for not releasing. And that has been the difference in the end. Another low scoring match. The Highlanders, remember it was just a few weeks ago they thrashed the Blues by around 40 points. Now there's close ones and they're tight and they're real battles out there on the field. Forsyth Bar treated to a classic match, but the tries, not the best, not too many at all, but still entertainment out there in the middle between these two sides. Plenty of line breaks, but we'll get to that in a second. First off, the scorers, and for the Highlanders, Osborne with a try, and it was staying the difference. A conversion and a penalty. They're not releasing up against Besson, I think it was at the time, or Natai possibly. No, it should have been Natai. Not releasing in the tackle, and staying, no problems getting that kick over. Besson scored for the Chiefs, Parker converted, but that's all they had to write home about. Both teams looked like they could have scored about 100 tries. It didn't come out either for both teams. Here's the stats in position, almost dead even. Territory still favoured the Highlanders throughout that whole match. Penalty conceded two by the Chiefs. That is a big difference as well. Those three points are so crucial in close matches like this. Handling has killed the Highlanders 15 to 1, but they did get a, a possession of five plus phases, which is huge. Surprising there's no stat for line breaks here as well 
which I'm sure there was quite a lot from both these two teams. So the win in the bank for the Highlanders, they take the four points and they increase the lead over the Chiefs. Now, we'll have a look at that table and other results from the round as we wrap up here round nine of Super Rugby with the Highlanders career. So lucky enough for the Highlanders, they have got a buy for round 10. So we have a full round and a bit of matches to go through. Following that win over the Chiefs, 10-7 for the Highlanders. The Waratahs took out the Bulls, Brumbies over the Crusaders, Stormers over the Cheetahs, Sharks, big wins here, all of these over the Lions as well. Into round 10, the Brumbies destroyed the Chiefs. That's a big result as well for the overall standings. The Blues taking out the Rebels at home. Crusaders get one over the Hurricanes. Boy, this table's going to really shape up interestingly. The Reds over the Western Force, Cheetahs over the Lions, Sharks over the Bulls. This is a real good season here. And Chiefs fight back to get the win over the Stormers' first match of round 11. The Western Force are hosting the Highlanders for match 2 of round 11. So let's check out the standings here. Highlanders are the top on 28, but they have a match in hand against the Blues. Two matches in hand against the Chiefs who are on 24. So... It's still tight. It's still close. Blues and Chiefs are really the ones who are still in this running. That loss for the Chiefs could have been so different for their whole season if they could have got that win. And they would have been on 28. Highlanders would have still been on 24. Could have really changed the whole landscape of the season. Crusaders on 17. They need to get some more wins. The only team to beat the Highlanders this season. Hurricanes rounded out on 15. In South Africa, the Stormers lead the way. Equal for us with the Sharks. Just better points differential there on 27 than both of them. 23 for the Bulls. The Cheetahs and Lions 11 and 7. Their season effectively over already. In Australia, the Brumbies lead the way there. 35 points. The Waratahs 29. The Reds keeping tabs on them in third on 24. But again, the Rebels and the Force. Their seasons are done. So back with the Highlanders. In round 11, we have the Western Force up against the Highlanders. That's at Patterson Stadium. And let's just check out the injury toll we got here. Yeah, still doing it now for three days. And Robinson still got another 34 days. So we'll struggle to see him um, for a few weeks yet, which is a shame for Robbie. But the Highlanders going well with Sopawanga at 10, of course. If you have any ideas who you'd like to see in the starting 15 for the next match, once again, an epic matchup. And the subs somehow didn't get on the field. Unbelievable. Memory lapse is absolutely horrible here. But that is a win for the Highlanders. And thank you for tuning in and watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. The Highlanders career mode cracking into action again. Still plenty of rugby to come. Road to the World Cup. We'll be back again very soon. We've got a World Cup kicking off of Cornflake. And we also have some more World Cup action starting on the other side of the globe. So keep an eye for that in the coming days as well. But for now... My time is done. Thanks for tuning in and watching. I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.